What's up guys, Duckfin Gaming here, and we're doing some more Skyrim Let's Play, and um, it's been a while since we've done Skyrim. It might only been about four or five days for you guys, but I haven't actually recorded any new Skyrim in a good month. I had a lot of pre-stuff recorded, and this is pretty much going to be season two of this Let's Play, because we have done so much, and this has been over 25 I hours. No, screw you, no charity. This has been over 25 hours in this Let's Play. And it's just been insane. So this is season two. And um, hopefully, you know, I can put out the same amount of videos in season two that I did in season one. But we have a lot to do. So let's get to it. Lastly, you spare a shut up. I'm not going to I don't care how this lady died. We're not covering that right die. now. It's your own problems. <laughs> I won't cover that until a long time. But, um... Right now, we're going to do a little bit more of the main story, and then we are going to be doing some Thief Guild. I just want to get the main stuff out the way, and for me, that would be the Thief Guild, and I meant to actually click that and not go back. What are you doing? So, to get you guys back on track on the main story, we found like the ancient dragon wall, and some shit happened to where I had to go talk to the gray, gray beards again. I'm pretty sure it's the part where I have to go talk to like their main leader. Oh yeah, I'm still this guy too. I think he's a little bitch, but I still got my epic horse. We're still epic. Everything's still pretty damn awesome. So let's do this. I'm planning on doing a good little sit down and playing a good little portion of this game right now. So hopefully we get a lot of videos out of this. I'm almost on level 17 as well. I know I got a buddy named Phony Assassin who who started watching my Let's Play before he had the game, but now he's on a much higher level than I am. It's just funny though, because you guys only see you know what I post, but by the time you see this, I'll probably be at like a huge level. I'll probably be at level like 25 or so. But I just don't put a lot of time into this one like I did with the first one I played. So, I mean, the first one has 101 hours into it. And that was seriously all done within, like, the first or second week of launch when this game came out. I mean, this game's been out for, like, three months. Almost, I think, four. So, it's been out for a good little while. So, I'm almost kind of done covering it. So, we're going to do this season two. And I hope to kind of get, get the Thief skill and the main story down. And then after I get all that down, we'll see if you guys want me to continue it or not. We'll see. Sky, got you. Um, I like to learn shouts used to defeat Adrian. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? It was recorded on Adrian's wall. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? The Blades are helping me. I'm not their puppet. No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. So can you teach me this shout? No. I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. I thought you knew all the words of power. But not Dragonrend. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history you began. come on. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. If the shout is lost, how can I defeat Adrian? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. Who is Potamax? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. Alright, well I need to speak to him then. 
You worry, you still aren't ready. But, thanks to the blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. So let's go meet him. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. Well, let's go. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Okay, well, how to get to the top of the mountain, fool? Quit drinking your whiskey and let me know. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Pots. Go. Taking all day. Taking like three minutes. Tell me this big old story. Let's do this. So I'm gonna go to the top of the hill and I'm gonna talk to this leader of these guys. And he's gonna hopefully give me some insight. We still have a lot to go in this main story, from what I remember. There's a good few hours left we gotta put into it. So this is season two starting off pretty good. Right now I have fire and a blade sword, but I've been thinking about just doing it like this with two swords and hitting them all at once. Like this. That'll do some serious damage, but if it gets rough, I can just pull out flame or fireball. I'm gonna do a little strategy. I seem to switch it up like every other video, so I don't know. So let's go learn this damn shout. Come on. I feel like this loser I hired does not deserve to see all the epic stuff I'm going through. You are no Lydia. You are a little bitch. So yeah, if you guys have been wanting some news on duck fins, I haven't really did a monthly update. I haven't had much to say. There hasn't been much out. And the stuff I want to cover, I can't really afford to cover, so... I'm just going to pretty much stick to the strip. Strip. How do you say it? Uh, Stick to the strip. I can't even fucking say the word, but you know. The path to Parthenax lies I'm going to stick to the gate. guns and do what I we've been doing. More Skyrim, more Minecraft. Finish up Resident Evil. Start doing a St. Rose 3 Let's Play. And just go at it. Keep doing Let's Look. Plays on what I can. About the only news I can give you. Your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the clear skies, which is it's a cool one. I like clear skies because this storm gets really shitty, and whenever it's storming really bad, you can just use clear sky and it works pretty damn good. All right, so let's go ahead and start making our way up this damned hill. Nice. So let's go. Let's do this damn thing. Pretty much, you just gotta keep following this. And when it gets stormy again, just shout. Like, it's really stormy up here. And the storm yeah. blocks it. I just got hit. That was, like, from the storm. Yeah. The storm, like, hurts me. So it's very powerful. And about this shout, I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't be able to get through none of this. Uh. So as you see, shout and all goes away. See the pretty uh, aurora. I really want to go out to some of those dark places in the United States and see some real life auroras. Yeah. Gotta fight an ice demon up here. My girl won't even pull out of shit. See what I mean about that being like boss mode? I did like the power surge there with my two weapons and just tore that guy apart. I kind of like the idea of having double weapons. It's badass. I still want to get her, you know, magic up because she still will be an epic mage and I will get her magic level up some, but I just. I really like the idea of the double weapons.
side, just punch him in the face. <laughs> Alright, so we leveled up. Dude, did I not kill him? Where'd he go? Little bastard. Alright, so anyway, let's level up. We're going to go with... We're going to go with health, because our mamma's at 230. <laughs> Alright, destruction spell. What can I do? Shock spell to do damage. Oh, I want that expert level. But that requires 75. We're only 72. But I do want to get it to 100. That'd be pretty epic. I don't use ruins that much. So I don't really think I can use any of this. I think I'm going to just save the quirk like I've been doing. And spin it on something good later. If you have any uh, suggestions for what I should spend the perks on, please leave it in the comments. And I could get like the beheaded perk where you can behead people. I think I'd probably have to work toward that perk. You know, I'd probably get a couple more if I can get that one. That one's really badass. There's a lot of different perks. I want to try some stuff that I didn't use with William Thomas, which is the first character I played on, on Skyrim. I've played two characters. <laughs> I do feel I'd make a third one. I don't think I'd get far in them. But it'd be cool after this let's play to make a third one and just play him, you know, just by myself and do HD. Because one thing I really hate about playing Erica right here is that her story is being told to you guys and that's really cool. But I can't really witness her story in HD. It's in, you know, low graphics on my big TV and it kind of sucks. I like looking at the world. It's really pretty. So it'd be cool to start a new character in HD that I play on the side after I'm done doing this let's play. Maybe like a couple of weeks after that, you know, I need to kind of, kind of get off this game and take, take it with a couple chunks, and then kind of don't play it for a week, then play it for a week, then don't play it. So I played it so much, it gets boring really quick. So I have to kind of spread myself out with this game, especially this being my second playthrough, and that'll be my third one. So I'll be really stretched out then. Eesh, man, it feels like. Uh, Feels like when we first started doing the climb up the uh, stairs to see the gray beards. Just goes on forever and you're like, come on. Running out of commentary. <laughs> Here's one of those walls. You cannot get past this unless you have this shout. As you see, it just punches you. That shout gets you through it. Get up the mountain, woman. Oh, I did it. So now at the throne of the world. Now I can teleport here instead I have to climb up here so damn bad. Yeah. Do you guys Dreamed do you guys think he was gonna be a dragon? <laughs> it was a surprise when I, I first saw him. Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strumach, my mountain? Your mountain? I'll kill you. <laughs> um, I think you already know why I'm here, Mr. Smart Dragon. Yes, Vaza. You speak true, Dovakin. Dovakin. Forgive me. It has been long since I held Tinvak with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. Well, I need to learn the dragon shout. Can you teach it to me? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you not until introductions are complete. See the word called. Alright, so that must have been covered in ice. You had to like break it free before you could learn it. Fire breath. I think I had fireball earlier. It's like the same thing. I got it. Not until introductions are complete. 
Now you want me to try it too? Okay. It's like, no, you must also use the fire breath. Zin Have. Right, here we go. Your thumb against mine, See it? Dova King. Now, show me what you can do. Greet me not as mortal, but as Dova. Okay. Roll. How'd that feel? Ah, uh, uh, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Timvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Arrows to his knee. Um, the Greybeards didn't want me to come at all. Mm, yes. They are very protective of me, Bachlan Fadon. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Right. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime. Our minds cannot even comprehend its concepts. How can I learn it then? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this doom? So I can make dragons my bitch and make them mm, their... Or make them my mount. Bruza. As good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin. Would you stop the next world from being born? You know, dude, I really don't see it like that. I don't think of it as I should die just so the new world could come. So, uh, the next world will have to take care of itself. Pause. A fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Yeah. Those who try to hasten the end oh, may... Come on, dude. But you have indulged my weakness for... Sp mm. Do you know why I live here at the peak of the Monavin? What you name... Throat of the world? <laughs> nah, dragons like mountains, right? <laughs> mm, true, but few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. So Arjun was defeated here before. Varucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Well, you used the dragon child, right? Hmm. Yes and no, Viknuzni Karon. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, if he, he wouldn't was, be here, yeah. The Nords of those days it crippled you, him. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Alright, so they didn't do a good enough job, they just kinda kicked his ass back in time until he had to come back out now. So an Elder Scroll, what's that? Mm, how to explain in your tongue? It is an artifact from outside time. It's a time it traveling thing. You can see the in the Kelly, you can see in the past. Elder Scrolls. But this is only a small part of their power. So far Sulier. Are you saying the ancient Nords sent Adrian forwards in time? Mm, not intentionally. Some yes, I know. You sent him forward in time to become that. 
which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal thousands years I've been waiting. I knew he years, was not gone, he'd come I back. Have waited. But how does any of this I help me? This whole long bullshit talk Time for 20 minutes. Was shattered. If you brought that kel, that with the Elder Scroll. Alright, I need to get the Elder Scroll. Dragon Rend That's pretty much where it is. I need to go get the Elder Scroll and learn this Dragon Shout. So where is the Elder Scroll? Krosis. No, I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived. You are likely better in the Alright, so he doesn't know shit. I. So this keeper at the, the College of Winterhelm might know. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. So, what would you ask of me? I ask you to stay the fuck up here. Alright, so we're going to have to go look for the Elder Scroll. And that should be really fun, but this has gone over the limit. I'm sorry, so this kind of has been a... Kind of a boring first season two first video let's play a little bit. I mean, it's been fun, but it's been just a lot of story this, story that. I'm going to talk in this time and story this and story that and story this and story that. So it's just been a lot of bullshit. And I'm going to jump down here by using Mark of Death and be able to actually survive it. But I know it's just been a lot of story stuff, but you know, this game has a lot of talking in it, so I'm gonna try to, if it gets too boring for me, I will try to skip it and just kind of narrate it a little bit. Fine. But we're doing pretty good. We're getting some excited stuff here soon. Yeah. Yeah. So as you see, with our epic shout, we've made it back down here without getting totally killed pretty fucking epic that I just trailed down that entire mountain in two seconds with that shout. It's one of my favorites. But anyway, we'll get back into doing these epic quests and uh, continuing our story here soon. So, hope you guys enjoyed this beginning part of our new series, uh, part two of our Let's Play Skyrim. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.